Here in Canada, we have uh, a store called Value Village. It's kind of the Canadian version of Savers. Or I'm guessing Value Village is American. I really don't know. Didn't have time to look into it. Um, at Value Village, they sell electronics, children's toys, furniture, clothing, you name it. And while I was there, I found this gem. I believe it's a 2007, maybe 2008. I'm going to say 2007, just because it seems about right. But either way, they all look the same. Uh, this is a 2007 Acer Aspire 5315. Um, still has the price tag on it. $19.99. I had a 30% off uh, discount card and I ended up paying $15 for it, so I was really happy. Uh, it didn't come with a ra um, any RAM or a hard drive and it was labeled as parts. So I figured, well, what the hell. could always use a screen, keyboard, and whatever else comes to mind. Another reason why I bought it is because it came with the uh, battery, which still works, believe it or not, and came with all the covers on it and pretty much everything else. So I couldn't resist, and I figured for $15, what the hell. So, what I have done so far, I've added two gigabytes of RAM. Apparently that's the most that this thing can take. But if done correctly, I think you can stick maybe three gigabytes or four, I don't know. This is the specs. It did have a 120 gigabyte hard drive um, from what the staff told me at the store. Well, what a coincidence. I happened to have a 120 gigabyte drive and I had just put it in there. Uh, it had only a gigabyte of RAM. Now, I don't know if that was upgraded or not because the thing was running Vista. Blech. And uh, probably received a RAM upgrade, but, you know, Value Village, they uh, take all the good parts and then just give you the bare bones. Well, uh, the laptop didn't come with uh, a charger. I had to provide my own. So, it's, it's pretty basic, really. There's no, no webcam. I don't know what that mark is up there. I, I really don't know what that's there for. I can't seem to get it off. Uh, on the right, you have one USB port, a DVD... I think it's a DVD burner. Yep, DVD RW drive. Modem port. Sorry, the chair I'm sitting in is so squeaky. You have your headphone and microphone jack, and the other port, which is a audio input jack, is blanked off because this is a basic laptop. I think if you bought the next model up, you received the um, audio input. Uh, you have your PC MICA Express card. Uh, TV in. I, I can't remember the exact name for that. Two USBs on the left, Ethernet, and a VGA. On the back, you have nothing but your power jack and fan vent. Oh, Kensington lock. So I think the next model up from this one, you would have received a VGA port and a DVI port. There is no SD card slot, which is kind of unfortunate, but really, like if you wanted that, you had to get the next model. Anyway, so let's fire it up and see what she'll do. I've already charged the battery up and uh, cleaned it up as best I could. So let's fire it up. 
Another thing about this one, this laptop, uh, it doesn't have the volume wheel that you would normally get on these. Instead, they placed it on the front. Oh, apparently I didn't shut it down right. I really don't like these glossy screens. They really look bad. Especially in the sunlight. So it is running Windows 7. Um, I pretty much decided not to put Windows Vista back on it because I don't have the original disk and I really don't care for Vista and it's also no longer supported. So yeah, it does have the two gigabytes of RAM. It does have a Celeron 550 processor, which is running at two gigahertz. But I kind of want to up it a little bit. I want to put a, a Core Duo in this thing, just because I can. And that's what we're going to do. So, I mean, for a basic laptop, it's pretty nice. I don't know how well the speakers are. I think they're really cheap speakers. The next model up, you would have received... Um, uh, three speakers, and I think it would have been uh, Dolby Digital speakers, or whatever the hell they are. Luckily, this has the loud loudness equalization, so I can make it louder. Because the volume's cranked all the way to the max, so after enabling that, let's see what happens. That's better. Yeah, but it does have a tinny sound to it. I'm not really digging that, but whatever. So, um, problems with this laptop. So far, I have found only one problem, and it overheats. I, well, I believe that's the problem, because I could have it running, and it could be sitting here just like that, and out of nowhere, it will shut down. Even without the battery, it still does the same thing when it's just plugged in. So, I believe it's overheating, and, uh... I figure since I'm going to swap the processor out anyway, why not put some new thermal compound on it. $16 for a little bottle of that. Unbelievable. $16.94 for the stupid heat sink compound. Unbelievable. Anyway, so... There's the laptop. Here's the processors that I have. Um, I heard that these laptops are very easy going when it comes to upgrading the processor and other components. And we have other CPUs. These will not work because they're for the Dell Optiplex GX280s and other Intel boards. So, this one's AMD, these three are Intel, and i got to see which one's the fastest and whether or not if it will fit. One of the things I love about these old Acers is that accessing the processor and everything is just very easy. You remove one large plate, and it reveals everything. And to get to the processor, you undo the fan, pull that you don't even have to disconnect the plug, you can just put it to the side. Pull on one of these. Voila! There it is. Very simple, unlike other computers that I've worked on. A little bit of dust buildup, nothing an uh, old paintbrush can't do. I use paintbrushes to get rid of the dust that's really caked in there, because compressed air just doesn't do enough. shouldn't be handling it like that, but who the hell cares? 
If it blows up, it blows up. Who cares? There. I think she's in. Good. Another reason why I want to upgrade the CPU is because I want to run Windows 10 on here. Just to see how it will, you know, perform. Ugh. I hate it when this stuff is not thoroughly mixed. It's all liquidy and gross. Ew, 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 ew. You see that? Look at that shit. It's just, it's so runny. It's like... Disgusting. Okay, now I gotta clean that up because it's thermal paste water. Damn it. You know, the way this stuff comes out, it reminds me of cottage cheese. All chunky and gross. And how's this for labeling? It says Next Tech Heat Sink Compound. Peel that off. Unic silicone tran heat transfer compound. How's that for rebranding, huh? That's bullshit. <laughs> oh well. I guess you can't win, but look at this stuff. It's just. It, really? The $16 that you pay and you get globby shit. And it's so watery, it's not even sticky like it normally should be I think I might scrape off the big chunky bit and then just try to wipe up all of the liquid because this is not good I've never really had much issues with this particular stuff like heat sink compound um, I usually buy Ar arctic silver but unfortunately they didn't have any and what I mean they, the source, they didn't have any. And it's quite unfortunate because I drove all that way to get some heat sink compound and they didn't have the one that I want. Okay. I know this looks really bad, but I'll wipe up the excess because it's really I'm trying to make this look nice. And again, $15 laptop, I could really give two shits less about it. And it's all over my hands, but oh well. Next, I gotta wipe up the dried stuff. There. Dab some more on there, just in case, and cleaned up the radiator. Okay, so this is the very next day. Um, I decided to install Windows 10 on this laptop just because I can. And uh, mainly because Windows 7, well, it's not going to be supported much longer and I really would just like to get that out of the way and just upgrade to Windows 10. Anyway, so we have put the um, dual core processor in here and we're going to fire it up and see how fast it boots. Now I can't remember if it's in hibernation mode or if it's in uh, <laughs> or if it's just going to be a cold start so we're going to find out. Ooh, power everything. I really hate this camera. <laughs> it doesn't focus properly. What the fuck? What is this shit all about? Why is it shutting down? Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. We'll be right back. Damn it all. Alright. Let's try it again. What ails this thing anyway? It's bullshit.
think there's another thing I have to do on my list. Get another camera because I'm sick and tired of this thing. Always trying to focus and going out of focus. So we originally had a uh, Celeron processor in here and it was a 2 gigahertz processor and we have now upgraded it to a 2.16 gigahertz dual core processor. So yeah, I think um, that was a pretty good upgrade. Probably just, it's not really going to make much of a difference. Um, judging by how long this is taking to start up. But then you also got to put into factor that there's two gigabytes of RAM here and I'm also using a mechanical hard drive. So, meh. Oh, I also found out another thing. Um, not only was it uh, having some overheating problems, it also had a problem going into sleep mode. Every time I would attempt to put it into sleep mode, and it still does this, the computer the computer doesn't actually go into sleep mode. It, it shuts itself down. I've tried swapping out the RAM modules. I've pretty much done everything. And it's been doing this since I had Windows 7 on this machine. So I decided to switch all the power functions. Instead of it going to sleep mode, it goes to hibernation mode. And when you close the lid, it also hibernates. And I've eliminated the option to put it in sleep mode. So all you have is your shutdown, restart, and hibernate. The mouse pad um, is very wonky on this computer. I don't know what's wrong with it but it doesn't always follow the movement of my finger. It just tends to dart around. I have installed the latest driver, but um, that doesn't work. So, son of a bitch, I hate this. Come on. You see it bouncing around? I'm trying to bring it up to that arrow, and... Okay, there we go. Come on. Yeah, that seems to be another problem with this computer, but meh. $15, you get what you pay for. And I just wanted to do this because I want to make a video. Not like I can't make a video of anything else, but I got all these machines that I got to do, and then some. Alright, so we have the dual core processor installed, it shows up. On Windows 7 you have the Windows Experience Rating where it uh, basically assesses your system of the different pieces of hardware that it has. It focuses on the hard disk, graphics, RAM, and processor. Now the primary hard disk got a 5.3 rating on Windows 7 uh, had a 3.0 rating for gaming graphics. The graphics card itself had a 3.1. Memory was 4.5 and the processor was a 4.2. The lowest subscore was 3.0. Well now that it's been upgraded, the processor, I mean, let's take a look at the new rating. The hard disk got a 5.3 rating Graphics is still 3.0 and 3.1. I don't know why there's gaming and then there's graphics, but oh well. Graphics is 3.0. Game, sorry, gaming graphics is 3.0 and graphics is 3.1. The RAM got a 5.4 and the processor got a 5.4. So there is some sort of improvement there too. It uh, not only helped the RAM, but uh, yeah, processor was a 4.2, RAM was a 4.5, and ever since I upgraded it to the new dual core processor, those two have jumped. So that's pretty good.
Now, Windows 10 runs very well on this machine. Um, it's probably running a little slow because it's doing some more updates. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so it, it's a pretty good machine. Um, the only issue is that it really has is a battery that eh, could could be replaced. It's uh, at 79%, but that jumps down pretty quickly. The mouse pad seems to be a very big problem in some areas, but plugging in a external mouse doesn't really hurt. And uh, the fact that it won't go into sleep mode at all, no matter what I do, uh, seems to be a problem. But hibernation works, so that's fine. So if I put it into hibernation mode right now, that light should start flashing orange, letting me know that it's going to hibernate. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so I guess it doesn't flash. I guess it uh, does that. <laughs> right. Well, that's about it for this one. Um, I got plenty more laptops to do. It's been a while since I've made videos, so stay tuned for more because there's going to be a lot more coming. <laughs>